In this video, we're going to cover the alignment tools in Illustrator. So what we have here is some duplicates of a square just sitting on a blank page, nothing special at all. We're just going to try and align all these squares and have a look at how the alignment tools work in doing that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the align panel. Looks like this. Alternatively, if you have a bunch of objects selected, you'll notice your align tools actually come up here in your content panel. It's very handy. So let's start by having a look at what some of these basic options do. Under align objects, we can align all the objects to the top of the highest object by using align to top. We can average their alignment or we can vertically align them along the bottom. We have all those same options in the horizontal, as you can see demonstrated here, which is very handy. By default, Align 2 is set to Align to the Selection. You can also change this to Align to Artboard. So for example, if I go ahead now and hit Vertical Align Top, it's going to align everything to the top of the artboard. The other option in there is Align to Key Object. To select the key object, when you have a whole bunch of uh, objects selected, all you need to do is click again on one of those objects. You don't need to hold any hotkeys or anything, just click again on one of those objects. You'll notice it gets a dark blue board around it, and that becomes your key object. Now by default, it should uh, check Align to Key Object when you do that. And then when you align, everything's going to align based on that key object. There we go. Excellent. As you can see. We also have some distribution options. We can choose to distribute everything. We can choose to vertically distribute along the top of the object. Vertically distribute based on their centers or vertically distribute based on their bottoms. And we have those same options in the horizontal. If I was to align those across the center, you can see they're all nicely spaced now. Another cool spacing option is with a key item selected, we can actually tell Illustrator how much gap we want in between each object here. I could set this to say 40 mil and then choose to vertically distribute that 40 mil. Oh, actually, we want select my key. We want to horizontally distribute those so they don't fly off the screen. And there you go, you can see what it's done. It's spaced 40 mil between each object. Now, some of you who are very sharp might have noticed a problem with this, and that's that this gap won't actually be 40 millimeters precisely. And that's because the align tools are calculating based on where the path for the object is sitting, not where the outside of the stroke is. We can double check that by grabbing our line tool here and drawing a line across those uh, two boxes to uh, their outline and see that that's 40 mil and that indeed the line between the two out of edges of each stroke is only 38 mil. So we've got some issues there. If you want to get around this, an easy way to do it is just to expand your object. So you go to Object Expand and what that does is it converts the strokes to fill shapes. And that way when you select it, you can see it's selecting the outer perimeter of that orange. So we could go ahead and do that to all those squares. Select a key again. Choose to distribute those again, and you would have noticed that moved, and now those are truly 40 millimeters apart. 
This also comes in handy when you're aligning things to the page. If I just undo that once, so we have our expanded square and our unexpanded square. This also comes in handy when aligning to the artboard because if we have not expanded that view, we can see that the stroke will actually spill over the edge of that artboard. So it's a handy one to know for that as well. That's all on aligning. Catch you next video.